कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भविता मति क्रियता यदि कुतोपति तत्रोल्लोल्लमोपिमुल्लमेकल जन्म कौटिशुकृतर्न लभति कृष्ण भक्ति रसो भाविता मति क्रियता कुतोपिलभति तत्रोल्लोल्लमोपिमुल्लमेकल जन्म कोटिशुकृतर्न लभति गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल दैट भक्ति एंड अभक्ति वॉट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट दैट भक्ति एंड अभक्ति वॉट टू मीन बाय दैट गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ट that 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 indri jo gyan that what that that our by our material sense organs what kind of knowledge we are getting that in order to just quit that to leave that that is called by not quitting that sorry by not leaving that kind of knowledge that prabhupad ji sila prabhupad speaking the prabhupad speaking that by our material sense organs by our material sense organs the kind of knowledge what we are getting that in order to quit or to leave that kind of knowledge by not leaving that kind of knowledge that is called abhakti it means that by our material sense organs that kind of measurable vichar that is called abhakti and this abhakti what you call that this abhakti this abhakti actually this is this is it is actually categorized in three parts this abhakti it is actually categorized into three parts and uh, all the time it is going ahead by categorizing three parts that the three parts part of this abhakti the three three seeds are there in between these three seeds actually this abhakti is coming one is anya vilash second is karma and third one is gyan by these three all all three these are actually three categories three seeds by which it is actually getting provided to us agyan abhakti abhakti we are getting that for our own uh, uh, for our own comfort for our own comfort that our material mind and material body and our material body and mind whatever the things are associated with that we are actually looking out of out for that and all the jeevas what are connected with that what that kind of material enjoyment of this material body and material mind sabke sath sambandhi because this all this connection we are actually uh, having that that just for his own comfort uh, level he is actually thinking of that all the time is thinking of this uh, comfort level and not at all thinking of the others at all and that is called karma and to think of the others comfort to think of her own comfort and to think of the others comfort that is called karma that kind of efforts what you are putting that is called karma and when we will not be providing any comfort and definitely we will not provide any comfort also and we'll become a neutral platform that kind of vichar if it is coming then we are not at all making ourselves comfortable and other we are also not comfortable and we are actually becoming neutral nirapeksha that is called gyan that is called gyan that karma tyag etc the gyan this is just uh, this is just kind of dry gyan dry philosophy dry gyan it is or nothing else that it is the actual which are of dry gyan dry knowledge and uh, the indri jo gyan by that by our material sense organs what kind of knowledge we are getting what we are obtaining and nirvishesh gyan that in this 
just by quitting both all both of this gun that adoksha javastu shri hari that that topmost uh, uh, transcendental sense organs we are having that kind of effort to just uh, satisfy that that bhukti mukti whatever actually is coming in our way bhukti and mukti bhukti and mukti what kind of actual uh, <coughs> prabhav the influence what we are having bhukti and mukti is influence what we are having in order to just get out of that is called that bhukti and mukti that you can get mukti by bhukti and mukti you are getting mukti that you are actually getting out of mukti also by bhukti and mukti means bhog and mukti they are actually just by not getting out of that bhukti that bhakti to get onto the platform of bhakti it, it will not at all get started that kind of bhakti platform of bhakti you will not at all get onto that platform at all that will not at all get started at all that birth after birth after just uh, uh, waiting even one drop of should pure devotion it is very much difficult to get maybe it is impossible to get that one drop of pure bhakti but still that by the actual kripa of pure guru vishnu what not can be possible in our life by the actual kripa of pure guru vishnu what not can be possible in our life everything is possible bhakti is such a, a unique thing that which is not at all available in market bhakti there is only one pathway open to get available bhakti that is only by devotees only we can get bhakti in our life and there is no other pathway open for us that we can get bhakti in our life at all that is the only uh, arrangement done by bhagwan that we can get bhakti from devotees and krishna krishna bhakti ri janma mool hai sadhu sang krishna bhakti ri janma mool hai sadhu sang krishna bhakti ka janma that the actual uh, mool of uh, krishna bhakti is bhakti there is no other pathway apart from that open in front of us we just need to follow that pathway only and sadhu sang sadhu sang sarva sasthe koy साधु संग और असत संग इज कमिंग इन अवर लाइफ दैट जस्ट बाई इफ वी आर डिवाइडिंग वन सेकेंड बाई इलेवेंथ पार्ट we are dividing it by 11th part that one second time we are actually dividing it into 11th part that kind of love matra that is called love matra sadhu sang that this very small time if this that kind of uh, we are getting this kind of sadhu sang in our life for that fraction of second then it means that only this slight time one by 11th portion of the second this kind of sadhu sang we are getting that we can get the topmost sarva siddhi in our life sarva siddhi means that bhakti mr thakur i already written in amrit prabha bhasha about this that sarva siddhi means that bhakti siddhi you can get that prem bhakti even prem bhakti you can get in your life everything is possible in life shila sachidan bhakti mr thakur ji actually speaking in jav dharma that varanasi there is one uh, mayavadi acharya and he is having more than 10000 disciples and he is the guru of 10000 disciples more than that and he is actually at the bank of uh, ganga in a very small bhajan kutir he is actually doing bhajan there and he is doing bhajan there at the i can't speak bhajan because bhajan means seva it is not at all bhajan at all so what to do how what kind of word i can use so that's why i'm using bhajan here 
mayavadi you can't speak my bhajan for him no for mayavadi because bhajan is actually coming from bhaj dhatu it's coming from seva so they don't have any kind of seva mood for bhagwan so that's why what to speak so whatever according to his bhajan he was actually just doing bhajan in his bhajan kuti and according to his sampraday what is actually doing he is actually doing bhajan according to his sampraday and uh, in that moment one very top most pure vaishnav that is doing the kirtan of mahaprabhu and just uh, going higher and higher way and just crying and just going slowly steadily and speaking shri krishna chaitanya he is doing panchatattva like this he is doing kirtan of panchatattva and where is going higher and higher way and he is just crying and just again getting up and just with kartal he is just going doing all the time kirtan and going forward in the forward direction he is going and at that time that's mayavad sanyasi that who is the guru of those 10000 disciples he has seen are he is a very nice sadhu ha eh? he is actually crying and he is doing the bhagavat naam and i just need to meet him no 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 i can't meet him if i will go then it is not at all good because other outside uh, outside people will see it will not be good for me no 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 i can't go definitely the, to do darshan this kind of sadhu is very rare to get so like this that kind of uh, in his bhajan kutir that kind of that mayavadi he is actually having that flickering mind in his uh, in, is all the time flickering unstable becoming unstable and is thinking and at that moment that vaishnav has just gone away he is gone into some other street and uh, whenever the, he has just already taken the decision after that he is make stable definitely i have to take his diksha actually he has gone don't know that but that same pure guru vaishnav that uh, pure guru vaishnav that kind of uh, just by speaking the name of bhagwan that the actual name of bhagwan that all those pure guru vaishnav what kind of darshan they are having that from their lotus mouth this kind of transcendental sound coming from the lotus mouth of the, those pure guru vaishnav and inside that kind of some shraddha has getting inside his heart that in the heart of that mayavadi and after that vaishnav he can't figure out but that kind of pure uh, transcendental sound from the mouth of those pure guru vaishnav that some attraction he was feeling for that he is actually getting some uh, attraction for his uh, darshan and in order to get uh, more and more uh, uh, in front uh, for pure guru vaishnav he is feeling that all the time and he is getting that kind of uh, attraction towards them and top most influence he is getting in his life after that and at the last time he has taken the decision that he has to go to navadvip dham it is very much important to go there why because in that time that jaiv dharma at that time the time what is given in jaiv dharma regarding this that uh, the actual name of mahaprabhu still maranasi people uh, knows about it but now they have just forgot because in the preaching one to two months they are just eating sleeping that's it they are not at all preaching about mahaprabhu at all in maranasi so what to do you can go there you can show me where actually the in lucknow nami kshetra is there all mats are actually established prabhupad but where is actually preaching in maranasi also mat is there what kind of preaching is there no preaching is there at all just sleep eat drink that's it just need to enjoy that's it in our life they just have this kind of conception now so by doing this that just by getting this kind of darshan of vaishnav that mayavadi acharya guru the actual advantage he is getting out of that what is that advantage that he has actually left everything and has just gone to navadvip dham and he can't actually live without and he can't live without that decision and after that he just went to the navdvip dham because at that time navdvip dham that uh, he is actually na- the name of mahaprabhu in varanasi was preached a lot but now actually it's totally vanquished and now navdvip he just uh, came today and he has just taken a bath in ganga and chaitanya mahaprabhu where has taken bath in that ganga that all the leela and all the enjoying leela he has performed there and all the childhood pastimes he has performed there and now 
and he is actually just asking everyone and uh, he he actually asking someone and has just uh, came toward to baba ji maharaj he just came to him to our baba ji maharaj that paramans baba ji maharaj he came and he just came in front of paramans baba ji maharaj and actually just taking vaishnava uh, darshan just getting their uh, alingya prasad mahaprasadam and but getting the kripa of baba ji maharaj and after that he become the topmost vaishnav he become topmost vaishnav after that so much topmost vaishnav he became after that before he was actually uh, intelligent before because mayavadi having that material uh, shastrik with the all the time he is having that but still he don't have that realization before but after that he become uh, a realized sadhu it means that even if you get 1 by 11 second this kind of uh, shloka is not at all uh, false at all this is actually true this is actually top most true point this is not at all false at all shila sachidan bhakti ram thakur actually speaking that in bhagavad rajya that kind of prema top most prema that is so much rare to get in our life that in order to get it it's very much difficult next to impossible it is get to get that bhagavad prem that krishna prem it is very much rare to get very very difficult to get everything you can get in your life but this krishna prem is very very rare to get it is impossible to get next to impossible bhakti mo thakur in chadarni shikshamrit he is speaking that all those premik bhakta that all those premik bhakta in order to associate with them and in order to get their association and just to get their full kripa that is very much rare to get in life why because mahat sang that is very very rare and and mahat sang that importance of mahat sang is the actual importance of mahat sang is some importance is there regarding mahat sang just after getting that that hari bhakti you can get that kind of top most prem you can get it is just like contagious disease this is just like a contagious disease bhakti no thakur speaking those that they have done the seva of such certain pure guru vishnu pure guru, they have served them that even very slight seva of that sadhu he has done then definitely they can get bhakti siddhi in their life it is impossible in life to get bhagavat prem but still it becomes possible why in the same way it becomes possible nothing is impossible by the kripa of pure guru vishnu bhakti mata thakur actually speaking that maybe you can see the clouds in the clouds there is some difference in the clouds there is there two parts of the clouds they are actually coming in front of each other only the clouds there are two parts are coming in front of each other very close to each other there are two parts of clouds are there they are coming in close in front of each other and slowly steadily they are actually coming close to each other and after that what kind of effort by that they are that kind of potential difference it is giving getting balanced and one kind of lightning stroke is coming out of that 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 lightning stroke is coming out of that when the potential difference becomes stable and after that one sound is getting out of that that we can hear that sound of lightning bhakti mata thakur actually speaking that in the same way that all those premik bhakt if we can get associate with them just getting close to those premik bhakt if if we'll getting a if we come in close contact with them then just by getting close in contact with them just in get by doing their seva just like lightning that kind of potential difference like in the same way it's getting stabilized 
balanced in the same way that lightning is getting just by getting the association of those premik bhakta inside us also that kind of uh, contagious disease that krishna prem rog can we can get that krishna prem disease we can get inside our heart krishna bhakti raso bhavita matehi kriyatam yadi kuto vilapati tatro lollomo pimullo mekalam janma koti sukhtvair narap that previous day i was actually discussing this point also that shri brahm samhita from the 37 number shloka this shloka actually lot of uh, lot of uh, misconception is going in the whole world regarding this shloka what is this This shloka I was actually discussing. When you are becoming a akhilat mubhuto, means that by that who is the actual atma sarup of all the nikhil, a Bhagwan is there in the heart of everyone. Like this, we know that that he is akhilat mubhuto. Akhilat Pabhut, by speaking this, there is another meaning of that. That is, that all-pervading, all-pervading Bhagwan, He is omnipresent. He is present everywhere. Achitat Pabhut means inside the heart of every jiva, whether whatever be the case, He is there inside the heart of every jiva. Bhagwan is actually manifesting there in the form of Paramatma. definitely in the paramatma swarup bhagwan is there inside heart of every jeev this is natural why that's why he is actually called akhilatma bhuto here actually the actual meaning is that the special meaning that who is the actual uh, uh, priya swarup of those prajwasis anand chinmay rasam anand chinmay mati that ujjwal ras that top most param prem mai ras ujjwal ras that is actually uh, signified here about this in the samrit sindhu it is actually written that shila rup ko swami pad has already written regarding this what he has written paitik to bhavana vatmu jas chamatkar bhar bhu hridi sat jalevaram sadate sarvatamata kya bataya what actually written here इंडिकेटिंग दैट दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी गेटिंग it means that nijrupa daya means that by sakaswakya bhav that is already there that his hon haladini shakti internal potency he is actually lot of actually uh, uh, differences are there regarding this i will definitely gonna put the actual solution behind this that swakya bhav that haladini shakti that is radharani she is actually giving the that internal potency radharani that radharani is krishna and that krishna that is radharani there is no difference between that about this in bhagavat glorification of bhagavatam in that it is actually already written regarding this shoe bosha 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 भगवान ऑल द टाइम it is staying with bhagwan all the time that kind of shakti that is 
that is just to the how you can speak it is parikya that which is all the time just swakya is all is there swakya it is there 100% is swakya all those gopikas radharani all are swakya but that parikya bhav it is permanently there in vrindavan only that bhagwan it's a very strange lila of bhagwan which is showing there in vrindavan he is actually swakya bhagwan the actual if you are actually speaking in true in truth if you are uh, taking this point that for bhagwan that parikya is not at all there for bhagwan at all for bhagwan parikya bhav is not at all there at all but still it is there how it is possible about this i'll be actually discussing it so anand chinma raso pratibhavita bhi unnat ujjal namak je parama unnat ujjal top most of prem mai rasa that by that only it is what kind of uh, if something actually is getting out of that that swakya bhav that radharani etc gopikas tabhi kala bhi arthasmati radharani that shrimati radharani and all her kaya view of radharani that those who are actually satisfying krishna that infinity uh, enjoyment that they are actually serving uh, bhagwan with infinity ways that kind of desire what they are having that kaya view of radharani means shrimati kaya bhu kaya bhu sakhi gan of radharani he is actually serving krishna and satisfying krishna in golok all the time they are actually all the time present in golok and bhagwan swayam and that's bhagwan which is actually manifesting in that self manifested form there that adi purush govind on to the lotus feet of uh, adi purush govind i am actually paying dandavat on to his lotus feet so lotus feet ka आनंद चिन्मय रस बाय दैट आनंद चिन्मय रस that who is actually getting controlled by that chaturshasti kala yukta ladhi shakti rupa anadini shakti swarupa that radha rani by that kai view of gopikas that all those sakhi guns of radha rani that akhilatma bhut they are serving govind all the time permanently in golok dham they are actually residing in golok dham with that seva move bhav that uh, same adi purush govind i am actually paying dandavat on to his lotus foot shakti and shaktiman just by getting uh, oneness getting oneness with that that aradhini shakti yukta radharani that in krishna swarup is actually getting categorized and getting uh, different into krishna swarup and just by getting this conception of shakti shakti mata ved by this conception it is applicable but still it is not at all applicable they are actually having a different kind of uh, separation that like bhagwan is doing in the form of radha and govind maybe they are same one and the same but still they are actually for to getting the taste of rasa they are actually differentiating them again and haladini and chit shakti that uh, uh, getting infinity shringaras is already there in that and by that infinity shringaras that kind of categorization and division is actually getting bhavito bola hai that bhavito we are actually speaking here isi by that same division and categorization that is actually getting that that akhilatma bhuto bhagwan is all the time actually uh, present there and is doing the leela all the time and this rasa anmayur uddipan this alamban and uddipan this two division are there alamban is actually getting ashray and vishray two division out of that 
आश्रय इज स्वयं राधिका रानी दैट का व्यूह एंड विषय इज स्वयं कृष्ण दैट कृष्ण दैट गोलोकपति गोविंद दैट कृष्ण इज गोलोक गोलोकपति गोविंद दैट बाय दैट सेम रस दैट भावित आई एम गेटिंग दैट टॉप मोस्ट भावा दैट वॉट द गोपिकाज आर गेटिंग दैट दोज आश्रय गोपिकंस that uh, that same rasa those who are actually getting attracted towards that same rasa that bhagwan is actually all the time permanently present them present with them in the leela uh, in golok dham all the time it means that with the haladini shakti vritti that prakatit kala sakal ka sath with all the kalas all the all the qualities what he is having he is actually present with that 64 uh, qualities of bhagwan are already there with bhagwan but in order to serve bhagwan that infinite infinity brahmand that uh, that whatever there of this infinity creation whatever it is there it is actually all for the service of bhagwan only so in the 64 qualities of bhagwan all 64 of different kind of qualities are already there in bhagwan what we can find that uh, bhagwan shri krishna that has already got in with shanti puni muni ashram he has just learned in the all the 64 art and culture 64 different qualities that in 64 days then in 64 days he has got different 64 arts and culture kind of knowledge regarding that bhagwan is getting in shanti puni muni ashram and in ujjain he is getting that that krishna and balram they have just went to ujjain and in ujjain they have just learned 64 different art and culture different qualities of art and culture and there is gurudev ashram is there shanti puni muni ashram is there so they have learned everything there and just by staying there in the ashram in 64 days they have just learned 64 different different kind of qualities maybe whatever be the case bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan every 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 quality they are getting uh, in one group and they are actually standing in front of bhagwan that in order to understand it is very much difficult but still it is very easy to get the under the anugate of guru vishnu we stay then it is very easy to understand otherwise very difficult so this 64 kind of different kind of knowledge they are actually getting the this kind of 64 qualities or knowledge uh, of art and culture it is just getting to uh, in oneness and they are actually with the ras uh, with the ras murti ras vigra they are actually getting uh, manifested in golok dham by the help of yog maya and it is getting manifested there and here also in bhom brindavan as well so that's why in this shri roop that's why shri roop ji ne likha shri roop goswami pad has written sadanantoi prakashai swair leela vischo sa dipati tatrai keno prakaseno kadachit jagadantari bhagwan dham that bhagwan's uh, transcendental transcendental dham golok dham he is actually there transcendently present there in golok uh, dham bhagwan and krishna bhavanusar krishna and krishna bhavanusar then neela leela shakti and all those paraphernalia and parikars all they are actually residing in that by that bhav they are actually getting categorized according to that and that is the actual uh, very um, nice shakti very uh, different shakti of bhagwan that all those leela of bhagwan that that we can get out of this uh, which we can just find it on the sun earth that is called prakat leela on this uh, material creation and all the all the leelas of krishna are actually out of this uh, three modes of material nature it is out beyond many material creation and what we can see that is called prakat leela or the bhom leela which we see and all the time transcendentally it is present there that all the leelas of bhagwan shri krishna it is out of the material creation but when it actually get manifest in this material creation all those um, leelas of bhagwan 
इट इज एक्चुअली दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रकट लीला अपेयरेंस ऑफ अपेयरेंस लीला एंड द सेम लीला ऑफ कृष्णा वट इज एक्चुअली विच इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग डिसअपेयर फ्रॉम आर आईज एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड डिसअपेयरेंस लीला सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस दैट ऑल दिज लीला ऑफ कृष्णा दे आर एक्चुअली बियॉन्ड एनी काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल मोड्स ऑफ नेचर एंड that in disappeared form it is there all the time transcendently present in golok dham and in the appearance leela goku in gokul in mathura in dwarka all the three places krishna is actually residing there in the prakat leela in the appearance leela so this all kind of leelas what krishna is actually manifesting that in all the three places krishna is manifesting in the gokul mathura and dwarka that kind of a prakat leela that it is there in the golok dham in transcendental dham it's all the time transcendently present there permanently present there in vrindavan so this kind of siddhant what we are actually speaking so by this siddhant vakya what we are actually speaking we can understand that that by all this siddhant we can only understand that we can come to this conclusion that prakat leela and aprakat leela there is no difference between that at all the appearance and disappearance leela there is no difference between that, that at all and in this shloka the same tika in the ujwal nanmali tika commentary and in k krishna sandarbh as well in that shloka also in that commentary it is written regarding that krishna sandarbh etc in that grantha prakat leela it is actually done by yog maya just by yog maya that appearance leela is being done that like ras leela before that bhagwan already told that yog maya just by the help of yog maya i have just manifested my appearance leela ras leela so so all by all this siddhant vichar we can come to this conclusion we can come to this conclusion that that whatever kind of all those leelas it means that in mathura in vrindavan mathura and in dwarka all these three places bhagwan is manifesting leela that is actually uh, in aprakat a form it is permanently there in golok dham and in appearance form it is there in those respective places and in what dham then when that bhagwan is actually getting appeared in vrindavan dham so this siddha by this siddhant vichar we can understand that appearance and disappearance there is no difference between that at all jeev goswami pad has also written that shila jeev goswami pad has written that krishna's appearance leela it is just with the help of yogma it is getting manifested in front of us and in this material creation that kind of appearance leela of krishna can only be possible by the help of yogma only and when it is getting manifested in material creation that kind of modes of material maya it looks like that some fallacy is there of material modes of nature like all those activities we can find there so that which is very uh, amazed to see and very surprising to see all those in just by the material relationships that kind just uh, in order to see that leela of krishna externally we can have this vichar that definitely some kind of modes of material of maya is actually is getting uh, covered by the krishna leela we can see that and we can get amazed to see that but it is not like that like a madman he is actually going towards material things he is mad towards material thing definitely i need this thing i will without uh, wine i will just die this kind of vichar is there so the, in this material uh, in this material platform also this kind of vichar is coming and in transcendental platform this kind of uh, vichar will not be getting applicable on the transcendental platform at all that whatever kind of relationships you are having with material maya when this kind of uh, actual relationship of maya this kind of uh, thinking you are getting with the modes of material nature that uh, 
Krishna's transcendental Leela is being getting uh, mixed with that, it is not at all possible that by Maya, that uh, that kind of uh, Leela, some kind of Leela Bhagwan actually is doing, some kind of activities he is doing, that in which is not at all there in Swarup Tattva at all of Krishna. It means, it means that Asur Sanghar Leela, just to kill Asur demons, to kill, to kill Asura demons, to kill uh, Asuras, to kill demons. This all kind of Leela, in this Nitya Golok Dham, it is not at all possible to stay there at all. That Asur Sanghar Leela and Paradar Sangraha, this all kind of Leela, externally we can see that his birth Leela, these are actually not at all uh, uh, present there in uh, Nitya Golok Dham. In Golok Vrindavan Dham, how it is possible? It is not at all there at all. But still, Leela is Nitya. How Nitya, Leela can be there? How Leela can be Nitya? How Nitya, Leela can be permanent? That Mahaprabhu has already told regarding this. That Mahaprabhu is actually speaking to Sanatan. How actually Leela can become Nitya? He is speaking that infinity Brahman, that somewhere, some Leela, kind of Leela actually is going on. In after every fraction of second, it is changing. And now actually, today is birth Leela. And in some other Brahman, at that time, at that second, Bhagwan is taking, Bhagwan is doing Ras Leela. So it's like this. So, so somewhere actually boat festival is going on. So in each and every Brahman, infinity Brahman, some Leela is going on and it's changing fraction of seconds. So in infinity Brahman, each and every place, if that kind of birth, birth Leela actually we can get the document, then, then it is infinity. You can, Mahaprabhu speaking that Ala Chakravart. It means that you cannot understand that each and every Leela is Leela, uh, is in uh, uh, going permanently, uh, going on. That is why it is Nitya. So this is like Nitya Leela. But, that Asur Sanghar Leela to kill demons, Parar Sangraha Leela, all Bhagwan actually doing, that becoming surprised and amazed to do some kind of Chinmay Leela, that this kind of uh, Prasang we can see, it means that it is not at all a problem for Bhagwan at all, but still that birth Leela and Asur Leela, it doesn't come in Swarup Tattva at all, it is not at all available in Golok Dham, infinity uh, Brahman that Leela is going on, but still it is not there in Swarup Tattva of the uh, Golok Dham. Like uh, Dham Bandhan Leela. In some Brahman that uh, Bandhan Leela of Bhagwan is going, is going on. Damodar Leela is going on. But uh, that all these Damodar Leela, Dham Bandhan Leela. That's in which pot of uh, sand. All uh, Bhagwan actually in that uh, he is taking that Dadhi, Dahi. That ghee, that makhan, that butter is actually going, coming out from that uh, um, sa- that uh, pot. So this kind of uh, process, that Dadi Mantan Leela, Yashomati Maya actually doing that, and Gopal is actually there doing the Dam Bandhan Leela. So Dam Bandhan means that each and every fraction of second of Leela of Dam Bandhan. It means that Yashoda Maya now actually has just uh, uh, taken Gopal around the tree and with the with the rope and in some brahman gopal actually is getting tied up by the rope and slowly steadily gopal actually slowly steadily going uh, f- forward you haven't understand what i'm speaking like the case in film industry each and every someone actually doing film and after that they are leaving that so each and every in cartoon film also you can see that same thing in cartoon whosoever is going each and every second uh, that frame is actually changing so the same leela is of bhagwan is leela nitya dham bandhan and he's actually going forward and each and every fraction of second how bhagwan is going forward he is going there he is going there either and either way so each and every frame of bhagwan actually is changing and all these trees that jamal and arjun in between that bhagwan is going away and that kind of motor, motor is actually getting uh, tied in between those trees. That uh, very old, ancient uh, 
trees are actually getting uh, down so each and every fraction of second leela is actually nitya in each and every brahman infinity brahman is going on so that's why mahaprabhu speaking is anath chakra that anath chakra but means you cannot see that but this kind of so vast leela is actually going on for infinity time period so asur sanghar leela tar sangrah janmadi this birth leela etc all these leelas in swarup tatva golok it is not at all there at all but when that vrindavan dham in dham vrindavan that kind of appearance leela bhagwan is doing by the kripa of bhagwan because it is actually nitya all the time because in infinity brahman it is going on that's why it is nitya but all those gopikas that for they have actually that they are actually 100% swarup tatva of krishna only that about this minimum uh, uh, knowledge you should have about this that gopigans what they are they are actually actual tatva of swarup shakti so they are actually uh, permanently they are 100% they are swarup shakti tatva so that's why they are actually doing uh, uh, leela anitya leela in golok dham all the time that bhagwan for bhagwan nothing is actually uh, unknown to him but but all these gopikas that all these gopis that they how they are actually getting parikya bhav that in krishna how they are getting parikya bhav jeev ko swami pad actually what he has written regarding this jeev ko swami pad sadhant vichar what it is what is that that is that lot of people are actually creating confusion and without any kind of uh, mind and intelligence they are speaking uh, doing a prad on to lotus feet of jeev goswami pad and speaking that jeev goswami pad siddhant is uh, they are speaking all uh, rubbish about the uh, jeev goswami pad siddhant they are speaking that jeev goswami pad actually is against sanatan gos uh, sanatan goswami and rup goswami he done has not done anugatya because rup goswami pad has established swakya and sanatan actually all the time speaking that parikya so definitely he hasn't done anugatya of rup and sanatan goswami pad they are actually speaking like that they are not at all understanding what they are speaking jeev goswami pad actually is our tattacharya bhakti no thakur speaking that jeev goswami pad is our tattavacharya and he is speaking uh, and shila rup sanatan and he hasn't done anugatya is totally wrong and the actual topmost strict sashan of rup goswami and sanatan goswami pad he has taken that in his life on uh, rup goswami pad and has just described all the tatva siddhant to us because of that that apart from that more topmost siddhant is that that in krishna leela that uh, he has he has that manjari swarup that that is jeev goswami is vilas manjari she is vilas manjari in krishna leela so whatever kind of tattva we can find that jeev goswami pad is actually manifesting it is already there uh, eternally present in jeev goswami pad no kind of uh, uh, wrong knowledge or misconception jeev goswami pad can uh, speak to us in a right way jeev goswami pad actually knows each and every tattva that that what kind of ashray inside his heart jeev goswami pad's heart that there is topmost karuna he actually under he actually thought jeev goswami pad out of causeless mercy on us all the bonded jeevas that all the bonded jeevas they will be thinking wrongly and they will be doing all kind of argumentative and logic and they all kind of rubbish and garbage regarding ras leela will be uh, getting uh, spread it so that's why all mad people can't speak wrong about that so according to the actual uh, praman of shastra jeev goswami pad actually giving reverse uh, kind of uh, reverse praman that swakya uh, we need to establish that uh, krishna he she, she is actually krishna he does manjri so all kind of tatva siddhant is already there inside her heart eternally present because she is vilas manjri in krishna leela so how can it be possible for jeev goswami pad that he can speak wrong siddhant vichar so whatever his uh, tat vichar is there he he knows everything about that jeev goswami pad his inside his heart whatever if he nobody is understanding his heart then he will be just be getting totally argumentative and he will be fighting in uh, total logics and argumentativeness but those who are just doing logics and arguments their life will totally get destroyed and they will do a pran onto lotus feet of jeev goswami pad इतर कभी
that this kind of logics and arguments is already spreaded each and everywhere and shila roop sanatan the according to the vichar of shila roop sanatan in the uh, prakat leela and a prakat leela is all the time present that what is prakat leela that is the same disappearance leela as well you can find in golok dham in disappearance in disappearance form and, and only one and only one difference is there that there is any one speciality not a difference one speciality is there that that from it is prapanchati to and uh, inside golok dham what is transcendently going on all the time but inside material creation what kind of leela we can see mathura vrindavan every dham we can see in this material modes of nature we can see that under these five elements of material modes of nature but still it is not like that but just it's like that only but still the leela is nitya in prapanchati to in five, five elements of material creation what kind of manifestations of leela of bhagwan is there that golok dham prapanchati to leela of five elements then material creation that there is there is no kind of measuring bhav is there at all in the drushta darshan drishti all these kind of faults all these wishes there is some kind of purity in that there is absolute purity in that so you can't make your uh, material mind and intelligence going towards this uh, transcendental leela to make that all kind of purity is there in the leela of bhagwan and by very great uh, uh, luck topmost luck if we are having according to that then only we can understand that what is that uh, that those people that kind they are actually just uh, uh, getting rid of all the kind of material relationships by that topmost luck and they are getting established in the transcendental relationship with krishna and guru vishnu then only he can just get established himself in that transcendental world and can find his relationship there Uh, in the transcendental platform and that according to his sadhan that prasadan process that ras vachitra there is some kind of is uh, already getting the siddhi in his sadhan that uh, aswadan siddhi that kind of taste of transcendental rasa in that uh, uh, sadhan siddhi they are actually getting taste in that according to their sadhan then definitely they will be going that kind of topmost uh, 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 golok transcendental leela they can just uh, see that other for other people that vrindavan this uh, it is there in bhom vrindavan in this bhom leela it is actually 20 kilometers away from there so this kind of conception will come and bhagwan by his own will he is actually just manifesting this uh, leela in this material creation of five elements and it is very much amazed how it is possible for bhagwan just by the will of bhagwan in order to uh, bestow causeless mercy on us so that we can understand the transcendental uh, platform of bhagwan and golok dham so in this material world when vrindavan giriraj maharaj yamuna mansi ganga all these actually we can see that so externally we can see the as if it is contaminated with material matter it means that it has some connection with this uh, material elements but the actual thing is that it has no connection uh, with material elements at all but externally it looks like that it is there in this prapanchati the five elements of material creation it is there in the material modes of nature it looks like that that some kind of faults we can find in that why because it is there in this uh, material creation and still it is there in material creation still it is uh, on the transcendental platform it is out of the material creation but still what to do we will definitely going to find faults in that because it is there our mind is material and intelligence is material that's why so this kind of uh, thing is very much rare to find and when this kind still the all the things uh, it is there in this material creation just by the kripa of krishna that chit transcendental rush who has already taken that in his life definitely he has just tasted that bhom leela in that bhom leela that same golok leela he can understand after that in when his sadhan become perfect then only he can find that in golok he will be finding darshan of gokul in golok and golok in gokul but for others it is not at all possible who are on a bonded platform so swarup siddhi all this kind according to the process of swarup siddhi that uh, the kind of uh, some kind of speciality and difference of the swarup siddhi what uh, 
person or individual is getting according to that just taking that that swarup darshan it means that some difference of taste will definitely come out of that so all those devotees they are having that in golok darshan there can be some difference and speciality in that there can be some kind of bifurcation in that in the darshan of those so that's why when you are not at all getting vastu siddhi up till that point that at swarup siddhi already got when you are not at all getting vastu siddhi up till that point that golok leela uh, some kind of material um, uh, material uh, connection you will find some mixing of material matter and elements will be there with golok dham golok leela when swarup siddhi you, that swarup darshan you are getting when you are getting swarup siddhi but it is very much important that definitely you need to uh, get that vastu siddhi in order to understand that uh, transcendental golok leela that uh, the, you should have that eyes of bhakti so that you can clearly watch the transcendental and the material platform and uh, it is free from all the kind of material elements and just by taking the actual actual uh, uh, they, those who are actually taking the topmost uh, uh, those who are actually taking the topmost uh, uh, shelter of that uh, transcendental golok dham when they are will be attaining the vastu siddhi in their life then only it is possible for them to see the transcendental golok leela and they will after that getting the vastu siddhi they will not uh, uh, feel any kind of material uh, elements mixing of material elements in the leela of uh, golok dham which is there in the transcendental world so when they are actually getting uh, away from all the kind of materialistic relationships then only they can understand i'll give you one example that chapal gopal he has done lot of uh, uh, things uh, regarding like chaita chapal gopal has not and no have not seen nimai have not seen goram mahaprabhu they are from the same village they are from the same place they are from nagdwi bondi but they have seen mahaprabhu they have definitely they have seen mahaprabhu and uh, uh, everyone has seen mahaprabhu chapal gopal has seen everyone seen so so this is actually virodhi vishay that anukul vishay will be just actually speaking like the case like uh, all kind of, of uh, banana banana flowers shridhar actually is khola beja shridhar actually is selling that and this shridhar he is actually very uh, poor even very small uh, kind of uh, hatch or home he is actually living that and all the time he is doing hari naam sankirtan all day and night he is actually doing naam sankirtan and by that he actually used to go to ganga ji and he used to do worship of ganga ji and he used to do hari naam all the time and this is not videshi at all but definitely he is not against not at all against mahaprabhu he is actually worshiping ganga ji and he has full faith on bhagwan 100% and very honest towards bhagwat bhakti and according to that he is actually maintaining his life just by selling that banana leaf and flowers and whatever he actually is getting by selling those banana flowers and leaves that he used to do worship ganga by that and other sevas he just need to maintain by that only whatever he got from by selling banana flowers and banana he used to do that khola beja shridhar so this is so this shrivas actually in uh, shrivas gorang mahaprabhu nimai has a lot of uh, uh, enjoyment with that or each and every time mahaprabhu used to go to uh, the market and used to t- take uh, mocha mocha that uh, flower flower of banana that all leaves of banana everything he used to take from kola beja sridhar and he used to fight with him oh no 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 you have to take give this in in this price no no i will not this in this price so like no 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 you give give, give. oh no no you you give this price no i will not give mahaprabhu speak and mahaprabhu and speaking to shridhar shridhar used to take it away from mahaprabhu's hand no 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 all the time they are actually fighting he speaking you just go to the other shop and mahaprabhu speaking that uh, all kind of uh, shopkeeper ness and the actual su- supply of my uh, banana leaves i can't change that but khola beja shridhar that he don't know at that time that he is bhagwan sakshat you see that he is so much anukul for our 
towards bhakti but he don't know also that he swam bhagwan himself who is taking uh, banana flowers and banana from him when mahaprabhu used to speak about ganga are you don't know the glorification of ganga it's with me only are you are not at all uh, feeling shy of speaking like that ha you are not at all uh, um, are you are not at all uh, fearing that you are speaking that uh, ganga is from me ha but still you see kola bacha shridhar no didn't know that he is that swam parat par akhileshwar bhagwan he don't know about that so bhagwan that by the mahamaya of bhagwan protarit hota hai bahar ka all the external people are getting attracted by that external maya of bhagwan and by yog maya this in this leela he is actually getting manifested in that eternally he is getting into deep into that all those devotees but after that when in shri vasangan that ast prahar leela ast leela ast kale leela that 24 prahar sorry that uh, leela bhagwan is manifested there each and every devotee has got the darshan of that leela that i am that swam top most parat parakeleshwar after that shri khola the shri dar was called then he seen that who same brahman who is coming to take banana leaf and mocha from me and all the time used to uh, uh, do argument with me that all uh, going mocha banana leaves flower he used to take it means that what i want to speak that up till that point that swayam prakashata shakti when it is not at all doing kripa on you up till that point that to do bhagavad darshan still you can still it is equivalent to not taking darshan of bhagwan just by taking darshan of bhagwan also still you can't take the darshan of bhagwan why because you have not got the kripa of the swarup shakti haradini shakti of bhagwan because you will be getting uh, opposite darshan in that about vaishnav same case will be there with vaishnav as well the same is applied in vaishnav like a uh, gada avar gadadhar pandit ji that mukund ji actually speaking that one vaishnav has come let us go and see okay let's go he is speaking and when they went to take darshan his name is pundarik vidyanidhi Radhar Pandit ji, he is actually Nitya Parshad of Bhagwan Eternal Parshad, and she is actually Radha Rani. And when she went to see, there is no possibility that he can do any kind of uh, uh, wrong uh, kind of misconception there. But this is all arrangement of Yog Maya. When Radhar Pandit when went to take the darshan of Pandit Vidyana ji, he actually very much surprised to see. Are who is Sadhu here, boy? Huh? Very nice, uh, expensive dhoti. and very nice uh, chadar he is actually uh, taking a very nice chadar on to him and is just chewing very nice betel leaf and just by chewing betel nuts betel leaf he is actually making his mouth red and uh, by his what his water actually he is actually just uh, 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 spitting out the betel nut into a very gold pot into a gold basket so what you can speak you are speaking about that So that he is a Vaishnav, huh? And his was all his opulences just by seeing the opulences of Pundari Vidyanadi, very nice gold chain and all kind of platinum gold chains and uh, uh, it and his hairs are also uh, getting very nice smell from his uh, from his uh, hairs and it looks like that he is just some uh, son-in-law of someone. and after seeing that kind of all uh, thing his bhakti just got down after the thing if i must have not come that it is very good are what i have seen gadadhar pandit thinking he is actually topmost material person he is not a vaishnav so this kind of leela gadadhar pandit has done and after i have done the aparad leela in front of us and after that mukund understand that externally he is actually seeing the external uh, vesh of uh, vaishnav and just by seeing the external way of pundrik vinayadi he cannot understand who is pundrik vinayadi that's why mukund actually started doing one kirtan from bhagavatam one shloka and with, with that shloka he all together he has just 
got out of his bed state and what kind of clothes and all he just immediately got out of that ho oh, krishna he is just doing that in topmost prem bhav and he has just torn all his clothes and his uh, clothes are getting here hidden and hidden away and he is just getting down on the ground and he is just uh, all the time he is uh, just uh, cry, started crying on the ground and rolling on the ground and he uh, gadadhar pandit at that time understood that he is a topmost devotee but externally all kind of wish what we can see he is actually all materialistic and just by seeing him materialistic externally i have done a big abrad on the lotus feet of pundarik vidyanadi and gadadhar pandit has done a uh, leela in front of us very rare leela of aparad leela so that we can understand that we can understand that we should not see vaishnav external with the external wish and one baba ji maharaj in vrindavan he used to stay what's his name bhakti no thakur is speaking he is a very siddh mahatma but the other people actually used to speak to bhakti no thakur in gorya already it is written regarding this in gorya patrika very uh, at the time of prabhupad it is written he actually what he has done that bhakti no thakur in he no kind of tulsi mala is there on bhakti no thakur no jap mala no tilak nothing is there with bhakti no thakur that's why he actually thinking bhakti no thakur wrongly he is thinking oppositely are from where he has come ha eh? no diksha no mala no tilak nothing nothing is there externally ha eh? and he is speaking very big big things like this he is actually on to lotus feet of bhakti no thakur he has done aparad he has done aparad on lotus feet of bhakti no thakur like that and after that bhakti no thakur ji on to the lotus feet of bhakti no thakur after that he has taken uh, shelter and he is speaking that you just forgive me i haven't seen the external uh, tilak mala on your so that's why i have done a big fault so you just forgive me for that please so this bhakti no thakur actually is a siddh mahatma he is a topmost siddh mahatma but still he has done aparad on his lotus feet that bhakti no thakur who is be actually speaking siddh mahatma to him there is a, there can be any chance that he can do any kind of fault if some any kind of fault parikshit maharaj can do when shantipur i have already told there in shantipur but still yogmaya has arranged all this so that we can get uh, cautioned and warned that parikshit maharaj and all these uh, parshad they are actually still they are actually also can get into problem that so that that we can uh, see the topmost uh, infinity qualities of uh, infinity qualities of uh, guru vaishnav and so th- in this way the mahamaya actually we can see that uh, it's the all the leela we can see in this material creation is being uh, controlled by mahamaya but that same leela in the golok dham it is actually being uh, controlled by mahamaya and about this no kind of information we can get about guru vishnu when we are under the influence of mahamaya so it is all the arrangement of yogmaya so we can't actually speak anything about that at all because it's all arrangement of yogmaya so that's why that according to the uh, difference and difference of adhikar according to that bhed is actually decided so only the difference is that so adhikari ka that adhikari adhikari ka the adhikari means that who is eligible that kind of difference that kind of uh, that according to the his sanskar according to his difference that adhikari people those have got that eligibility according to that golok golok darshan can go here and there that kind of conception in this that actual topmost uh, fine uh, fine darshan is that that uh, gokul gokul and golok that uh, uh, pure tattva it is it is uh, free from all the smell of material maya and by the help of yog maya by the chit shakti of yog maya in it is actually getting manifested in this material creation and this kind of appearance and disappearance this kind of uh, vishay there some kind of material smell can definitely arise and there is no kind of incompleteness and material touch in the uh, appearance and disappearance lila of bhagwan you understand the point what i am speaking 
दैट जस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट लाइक गोलो गोलोक धाम इज शुद्ध तत्व दैट गोकुल ऑल्सो दैट शुद्ध तत्व इट इज फ्री फ्रॉम द स्मेल एंड द स्टेन ऑफ मटीरियल क्रिएशन एंड मटीरियल एलिमेंट्स एंड जस्ट बाय द कृपा ऑफ योग माया इट इज काइंड अपेयरेंस एंड डिसअपेरेंस लीला इज गेटिंग ऑन टू दिस मटीरियल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन अपेयरेंस एंड डिसअपेरेंस लीला दैट कंप्लीट एंड इनकम्प्लीट भाव नथिंग इज देयर इन बोथ द लीलास बट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट दैट द बॉन्डेड जीवास अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर अधिकार देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंस एंड सम काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंसिएशन कैन कम अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट भाव एंड अधिकार दे आर गेटिंग इट इज ओनली पॉसिबल इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ बॉन्डेड जीवा एंड दे आर हैविंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ इम्प्योरिटी एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल स्मेल इज देयर इन सेट दैम दैट्स वाई दे आर हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड दे आर फाइंडिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अपेरेंस एंड डिसअपेरेंस लीला इट मीन्स दैट भगवत निष्ठा विल नॉट बी गेट इन टू कम्प्लीट फॉर्म इन दैम सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ अधिकार वन एंड हु इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग द तत्व दर्शन एंड ही इज गेटिंग विदाउट एनी दोष एंड फॉल्ट up till that point he will be getting the eligibility to get the golok darshan it means that in those life in the life of that person that kind of darshan he is getting uh, without any fault according to that he will be understanding the actual vishuddha tatva of golok of transcendental golok dham in the shastras what kind of tatva actually is getting manifesting in the shastra this is actually free of the smell of contamination of material contamination it is free from that it means that that those persons who are actually getting uh, logics and arguments all the time in front of those people this full preeti and with full according to the adhikar of each and every drushta means uh, wanted jiva it is actually getting um, uh, according to that uh, that kind of uh, tatva siddhant so shila roop sanatan siddhant vichar according to the siddhant vichar of shila roop sanatan whatever kind of leela in golok we are actually seeing manifesting or maybe have manifested or will be manifesting it is all those leelas this all those leelas it is actually free from smell of material elements or material maya so you understand the point shila shila roop sanatan that according to the vichar of shila roop sanatan whatever kind of leela if what is actually manifested in gokul or maybe manifested or manifesting in that it is uh, free from all the with full meditation when they have actually get rid of all the material um, smell it is actually without the actual smell of material maya and all the time they will be getting uh, their form transcendently in golok dham all the time so in golok vrindavan that parikya bhav is already internally present if that parikya bhav is already eternally present in golok dham all the time it is actually present there in golok dham but still swakya definitely will be there swakya i have already told you given the proof but if the swakya is also there is swakya is there in golok but still still by having that swakya bhav also still this in golok dham vrindavan that parikya bhav eternal existence is already there in that and paradharm means that the other wife the other wife of that by yog maya only it is actually getting arranged no radha rani has no direct connection with ayan ghosh also and nothing is there and there is no uh, the only difference is that that uh, he he is my husband so by the all the by the, actually done by the arrangement of yog maya and everything is done by the uh, the uh, every leela is actually getting uh, manifested by yog maya only just everything is manifestation of yog maya only so this in this material world when yog maya that of when yog maya in this material creation yog maya ke jo 
that that kind of influence of yog maya only in the material creation also this kind of lalita sakhi that swami of lalita sakhi vishakha sakhi husband everyone actually is getting manifested and radharani is in everything is useless it is just one kind of conception only that's it this is just one kind of conception that's it just a feeling is there that one husband is there that he is my swami he is my husband just a feeling and i am going to krishna that's it this kind of feeling is there and in golok vrindavan that in like in this material creation this male female relation is there but in golok dham this is not at all eligible at all there is only one kind of bhav there at in golok dham that there is no kans in golok dham eternally present but that feeling of kans is there that kans will come but only that feeling is there that's it but bhakti no thakur actually speaking here that bhav that in eternal uh, jagat that in eternal golok dham that is eternally present there in golok dham that bhav what is eternally present in the eternal dham in golok dham it is present there eternally all the time it is eternally present that originally which is not at all there in vrindavan so definitely it should not be there in the material creation also it should not be there in material creation also so definitely that in golok dham that parikya bhav is there eternally present the excellence of krishna prem ka jo that krishna prem's excellency rasa that top most transcendental bhava in order to taste that and order to get the transcendental taste in that this kind of leela is getting exhibited so in golok the in golok dham there is no jajula kutula there is no ayan ghosh there is no kans there no shishupal nothing is there but that conception is there regarding them that conception is there that kans is like we they will be speaking that hey kans will come like this kans is not there externally physically but that conception of kans is there so bhakti no thakur speaking this so whatever be the case golok dham vrindavan in that that uh, whether there can be any bondage of marriage it is just like one kind of laughing stroke that in golok dham in vrindavan like krishna he is actually doing marriage with all the gopikas is it possible <laughs> in golok dham all this is not at all there at all in golok that uh, vidhi vidhi and bondage that rules and regulations of marriage is not at all there at all in golok dham so what is that what is there there then it means that that all kind of uh, bondage or whatever rules and regulations are not at all there for them but still it is there it is actually ayan gosh that everything jatila kutile everything is there by the uh, externally by yog maya it is actually created by yog maya and then and all those gopikas the other places they are acting actually getting marriage you are getting that prasang it is not at all possible at all why because it is not at all possible why it is not possible for them they have that bhakti bhav for krishna that upavati bhav that hero and heroine kind of bhav it is actually all created by yog maya it is all created by yog maya so that all those gopikas they are getting that married married for with other persons it is not at all possible but when that leela is getting manifested on this material world that vrindavan leela then at that point that yog maya that kind of bhav is actually getting created in there it looks like that radharani also getting married jatila gutila is also there and other gopikas are also getting married at the same time simultaneously you can see that but if you find it in absolute truth then it is not at all possible this kind of marriage is not at all there in vrindavan at all in actual if you think that in golok vrindavan dham this kind of vishe is not at all there at all but in gokul leela just by his will this is manifested but in prakat leela swami and baba mother all actually external welfare we can find but but it has no direct connection bhagwan is having with that at all but still bhagwan is having by the uh, help of yog maya it is all created so if we are actually calculating all then that hero heroine bhav 
is actually not at all there in Golok Vrindavan. But when it is getting manifested on that material creation, that's uh, mother, father, everything, brother, father, we can see just by the help of Yogmaya, we can see that. But actually, they are there is one conception in Golok Dham. But they are actually all always untouched by others, uh, other Purush. How they can have some husband? They are actually all, uh, uh, all Shakti Ayan Gosh. Even uh, she, Ayan Gosh ha- hasn't uh, touched Radha Nani. So how you can see that Radha Nani has husband Ayan Gosh? It's not at all possible. It's just one conception. So in Prakat Leela, in Prapanchik Jagat, material creation, that material bondage and they are actually in the house, it is definitely there. But... Uh, Krishna is far away from all these kind of rules and regulations and conception. So Madhurya Mandal Lok, that dharma, that by Yoga Maya Devi, it is actually getting manifested. And this kind of dharma, they are actually just cutting that. And they are actually just tasting, Krishna is actually tasting the uh, Parikya Ras. It is just the actual uh, uh, transcendental higher Ras, that's it, in order to taste that. That Krishna is actually just t- tasting that Parikyaras and just by this Yoga Maya, that kind of uh, manifested dharma what we can find on this material creation. This actually in this material creation by our material eyes we can find this. Oh you see Krishna what he is doing. Oh my God so bad activity is doing. <laughs> what Parikshit Maharaj has told. This all actually is being uh, seen. So, in this material world, that in this material creation of, uh, we can see, maybe that dham actually is just having, Leela is not at all acting, actually getting touched by all these material elements and creation. But still it looks like that in this material creation, that everything is connected with it, but it is not like that at all. So, like this, just by speaking like this, if someone, no one can understand, then go, go, go look and go cool what kind of visha is there, what is the difference and what is the similarity in that, then it's a big problem. Etc. All these actually words are there in the Shastras which is expressed there in the Shastras. What actually it's written here? Etc. In the Shastra words, Bhagavan actually in Bhagavad Mahapurana actually manifested this point. Completely, there actually all the time it is spoken this point, Atma Ram word. Other other place it is written, and other side it is written. That his that his own shadow, just his own shadow, just his own shadow. He is actually when Bhagwan and when the people is playing, when the individual is playing. Like in the mirror, one person we can see our own reflection, that we, he can see his own reflection in the mirror, in the same way that Krishna is also playing with his shadow. Like the, like the kids you can see, that this kind of, one kind of a playing method we can see, that they are playing with the shadows, and which is with, with full enjoying mood he is actually playing with the shadow. Like this Bhagwan is actually doing the similar thing here, in the Leela as well. So, it's written there that uh, his own reflection, that like we are like kids are playing in the with their reflection in with the mirror. In the same way, Bhagwan actually uh, we cannot find any fault in that in Bhagwan because Bhagwan is playing with in the same way as the kids are playing with the reflection. So why it is required that parikya and swakya bhav, that parikya parikya, this actually we are speaking. That what what is actually required for that? It means it is required that Parikya Bhav why? Because Swakya Bhav, that kind of deep Bhav for Prema is not at all possible. Because 
there is some lacking of speciality some attraction is not at all there that when that rare pers- rare thing if he will not get then we are getting that uh, uh, thing to just get it more and more to increase the taste of that uh, only by parikya bhav that leela taste taste for leela the transcendental taste that tremendous bhav and prema in order to just arise that that kind of parikya is very much important it is one kind of catalyst it accelerates the uh, speed of prema inside the heart so that parikya bhav if it is there it's already written in jatana jritamrit regarding this that parikya bhav oh my god when i will get that taste when i will get krishna when i'll get the darshan of krishna oh my god this kind of feeling is actually parikya bhav this kind of rare bhav it's that all the four direction there is actually problems and problems and mother father everything all all are actually against me of this material world and if they can see if they can see me with krishna that i have some relationship with krishna then they will be thinking that they will be just speaking all bad about me and krishna as well so this kind of in order to taste that higher rasa rare rasa this kind of uh, thing is actually described here parikya rasa that is why it is important no pare aham nirabadh sanjujam vibudayu shatibo jama avajano durjano griho singkhala संप्रिष्य तद्वा प्रतियातु साधुना प्रतियातु साधु इसमें भगवान हियर भगवान एक्चुअली स्वयं हिमसेल्फ स्पीकिंग दैट आई डोंट हैव एनीथिंग टू गिव इट टू यू बैक टू द गोपिकास भगवान स्पीकिंग आई कांट गिव यू एनीथिंग टू यू एट ऑल दैट एवरीथिंग व्हाट यू आर माय योर ओन ग्लोरिफिकेशन यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड बाय दैट दैट्स इट आई डोंट हैव एनीथिंग इन रिटर्न आई कैन गिव इट टू यू I don't have anything to give it to you back at all. So, in Swakya Abhiman, Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking, that Swakya, that feeling is there. That Swakya, that kind of husband or wife, bhav, that he is my husband. This kind of rasa, that topmost deep prem and rare uh, transcendental rasa to taste that you cannot get at all. You cannot get fulfilled. Some uh, gaps, gapping will be there. so in order to taste that topmost deep prem rasa that from infinity time gopika that one natural bhav is there that is called parikya ras just in order to taste that parikya and at the same time that parikya is not at all there but still it is there in golok dham that golok in transcendently it is there in golok dham all the time parikya bhav and and this upapati this kind of uh, ego for that upapati but still it is not at all good but still it is good so so this all the time it is present in the golok dham transcendently present there so there that same that same kind of ego wait i'll tell you again that in nandi yashoda maiya they are also having uh, that kind of bhava but they are having that birth bhav for krishna that at the time of uh, birth leela that kind of ego is ego egoistic bhav is not at all there in nandi yashoda but only they are actually having that kind of bhav that he is our nand gopal so that kind of ego for mother and father that vatsalya for Bh- bhagwan krishna nand gopal it is not at all there but still it is there that ego is not at all there but still it is there by the shlokas it is actually written in bhagavatam that for rasa siddhi that kind of uh, topmost nitya ego is definitely there in the transcendental world as well as in this material creation 
and in the same way in the shringar ras in order to in the shringar ras this kind of uh, in the shringar ras also this kind of parikya bhav that gopatitva that upapati's ego in or it is all the time transcendently present but still there there is no kind of any fault in it at all this is actually a very rare and unique leela there is no fault and doubts in it at all and in any the shastra it is not at all uh, actually against any shastras also that uh, all kind of virudh vishay that against vishay but still that everything is against that vishay but everything against that vishay for krishna that it is actually become appropriate adjustment for krishna whatever is against krishna so everything will become appropriate adjustment for krishna and for other it is not at all there for anyone for others it is not at all applicable at all but for krishna this is the param param brahm parat par akhileshwar it becomes all proper adjustments all against uh, direction all against conditions it will come can be adjusted it becomes all proper adjustment for krishna so parat par akhileshwar bhagwan it is not at all nothing is against him at all everything become proper adjustment for him everything is getting properly adjusted for him about this we will be discussing it later more and more deeply on this vishay it's a very important vishay what we'll be talking in the shastras also it is written in the shastras also it is written that uh, that with all the braj gopikas that with braj gopikas krishna the other people their other pati there is no lack of independence for gopikas regarding with their husband also jeev goswami pas tikas in commentary also it is written like this that tatachari pai tatachari rup goswami pad is also speaking that ujjwal ras vinay gopgan gopikas i'll be discussing it later regarding this that's why jeev goswami pad actually speaking Shri Rupa Swami Path has given uh, a lot of documents regarding this. That in Nitya Golok Dham, there is one place, one thing is there in Nitya Golok Dham. Maybe Gokul and Golok, there is no difference, but still there is some difference. And if there is no difference, but still there is difference. And uh, for the actual Ras Pushti, in order to taste that Ras, that Parikya Ras is uh, uh, present transcendently in Golok Dham. And at the same time, it is all the time transcendently present permanently present in golok dham up till this point we will be uh, just uh, just forgive me i'll be just uh, discussing up till this point today krishna bhakti raso bhavita matihi kriyatam yadi kuto pilabhate tatro lollo mopi mullo mekalam janm koti sukhtoir nalabhate vancha kalpatro se ke basindu vichu patitanam pavanabho vishnabhyo namo